Hello, I'm Jeff Byers. I'm going to take you through um, the different types of smoothing that you can create um, in uh, game modeling. As I mentioned before, you need to smooth your normals out, uh, otherwise uh, your uh, normal maps won't come out right. So um, right now um, we've got hard edges on these objects and um, to smooth or harden ed edges you can um, uh, do this technique um, and use these, this tool. So if we go to edges you'll notice that we have all the edges selected. If I just want to soften this edge on top I would hold down the spacebar and go to normals and go to soften edge. Now that softened edge creates an issue with shading if the object is flat on top. Okay, That means that anything that is at a 90 degree angle can't possibly be shaded. Okay, It's impossible. But on, on edges with less than a 90 degree angle can be shaded. So um, trying to create an edge on this at a 90 degree angle won't work. So I am need to go back and harden that edge. So I'm going to go to normals, harden edge. Okay. The edges that I can soften are these right here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and soften this. Go to normals, soften. So now when I click on this object, it looks, appears to be smooth or smoother than it was before. If you look at what it was before, it's much smoother. Okay. Um, these can all these are also called smoothing groups. Okay. Now here's some other things you need to think about. Now some objects can look totally different than other objects. Let's look at a cube for instance. I move the cube out and let's go ahead and select the edges of this cube. I'm going to create really quick detail by going into bevel. All right, and we're going to do uh, one segment, 0.8. Okay, as you can see, that's probably not very much. Let's go do something a little bit different. Let's go and do a one on that. One segment, one width. Oh, too much. So let's do 0.5 on that. There we go. Okay, so we have this. You can uh, see some of the things you can do with this control D. Let's do two types of smoothing. Okay. So and let's do one more. Okay, so in this one here, we are going to smooth all of the edges, and it will appear to be round. Okay. All right. And it did okay. I mean, it's very low polygon. Okay. We can select a group of edges like around the center here and smooth just that area. and leave the rest crisp so you can see that um, you can get some uh, interesting results when you smooth normals. Okay. So when you create a game object you gotta think about what would you like smooth, what, do you, what should you keep sharp, um, and those are the things you need to uh, think about when you're actually smoothing and hardening edges again if you're if you, and mainly um, if you do have a cylinder shape and it needs to be smooth um, you do have to smooth it before you export it out um, and you create a normal map from it otherwise the normal map will have a problem um, seeing the smooth with the smoothing groups okay thank you